Hey, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to give you guys um, a little update on how weaning's been going and also give you guys some tips on how to wean while you're pumping. So there's actually like a couple different ways that you can go about weaning. And then I do have a couple of updates, so definitely stay tuned for those. So weaning from breastfeeding like chest feeding is a lot different than weaning from the pump. So weaning from chest feeding, you're essentially just not offering the breast as much and uh, you're, you're not dependent on a pump. It's a little bit more mechanical when it comes to pumping. So one of the things that you can do is pick a time during the day that is kind of just like your most annoying pump, the pump that you're like, ah, oh, you're either always late for, or you're like, geez, I wish I never had to do this pump. I would not start with the pump that's like your first morning pump or your last morning pump. It should be like something in the middle of the day. And what you wanna do is cut out about 10 minutes from that pump. So say you pump for 30 minutes or 40 minutes, you wanna, you know, just cut out 10 minutes at the end of that pump. Um, and do that gradually. So you maybe start on like, so it's easier, start on a Monday, do that like after lunch pump, only pump for 20 minutes instead of 30 minutes, and do that for about a week to two weeks, depending on how your supply is. It really depends. So like if you're making like 80 ounces a day, it's gonna take you a lot longer to wean than somebody who's making 25 ounces a day. So you kind of have to judge on what your body does. So say you've been doing that, so like you cut out 10 minutes um, on one of your pumps, so then like that next week, you cut out another 10 minutes on that pump session. So you'd be cutting out like um, another 10 minutes, so then maybe you'd only be pumping for 10 minutes on that little pump. And you do that for a week, a couple of days, two weeks, whatever your body, kind of tells you. If you're noticing like, oh my God, um, after like four days of only pumping for 20 minutes, you know, I have like massive clogs, I'm huge, like it, it's really uncomfortable. Don't cut back more on that pump. Like keep that pump only 20 minutes for another week or a couple more days to really let your body level itself out. If you notice, you know, in a couple days that there's not really any change, then you could cut back on that pump sooner. So then you essentially get to the point where that pump is like, you know, five minutes long or almost to the point where I would say like once it's 10 minutes and then after you've been doing 10 minutes for like a week, two weeks, you can completely cut out that pump and see how your body does. Once you completely cut out that pump, you might have to you know, wait two, three weeks to start cutting back on another pump session. Uh, it really depends, like I said, on your body. It's hard to judge that. Then you've so, cut, so then you've cut out that weird pump. Now, the next thing is that you wanna cut back on another pump, but you still wanna cut back on those, that time. So, say you cut back on your after lunch pump and you got the point where that pump is now gone. So then you're like, okay, which pump should I cut out? You don't really want to cut out that pump that is the one that's next after the one that you cut out um, because you could get some really bad engorgement. So then you have your morning pump and then you'd have like your next pump before kind of like your afternoon pump. So maybe try that one and see how that goes. So then you'd have your morning pump, then you'd have this next kind of mid-morning pump. Okay, I'm gonna cut out, you know, 10 minutes from that pump. Then you have that long stretch that you just cut out. Then you have like your evening pumps. So you might have to kind of like switch things around a little bit with this method. This method, the little this method also takes a lot longer for some people. Some people can do it in a couple weeks. Some people it takes a couple months. It really depends on your body. Um, I will get into uh, a different pumping technique, pumping weaning technique in a little bit on that that's faster. Um, so you can do that. Another thing that you can do, depending on how your body adjusts to the cutting out chunks of time in your pump sessions, you can just drop a pump session. So if you're if you're only pumping like four or five times a day, you can try dropping one, but do be cautious because this could cause 
um, wicked clogs, you could get mastitis, it, you know, it really depends. You need to sort of do like a trial week and see how your body adjusts. So you can just drop a pump and wait a week or two before dropping another pump and see how your body does. Some people's bodies respond fine to that, they don't have an issue. I would be more inclined to say that that would be something better to do if somebody's only making like 25 to 40 ounces a week, a day. Um, but somebody who's making like 80, 90 ounces a day, like I would not suggest that. You definitely want to do like cut out chunks of time during your pump sessions. One of the ways to, to wean faster is to use cabbage leaves. Um, I did this in the past while I was chest feeding and I've done this a little bit while I've been pumping. So what you would do with the cabbage leaf method is it's kind of like a little bit of both. So throughout the day, throughout the night, you know, you can, you can kind of choose. If you really want to wean faster, I would suggest putting cabbage leaves in your bra like 24 hours a day. So throughout the day if you can and then throughout the night. Yes, you are going to smell like cabbage and it's going to be yucky, but you will dry up um, really fast in a matter of at least a week slash it could be a couple days it could be longer it really depends on your body but usually you can dry up a lot faster with the cabbage leaves um, another um, thing that you can also do is take an antihistamine um, that can definitely help so some people what they'll do is they'll take an antihistamine they'll cut back on pump hours um, or pump session times and then also have the cabbage leaves the thing with the cabbage leaves though is that you can't just stick them in your bra. You have to make sure that you crack that really big vein that the cabbage leaf has. You also want to make sure it's like kind of a fresh cabbage leaf. If you can get it cold, that's even better. Um, you know, tight fitting bra, anything that's kind of constricting will really also help to signal those ducts to stop producing milk. Another thing that people do with the cabbage leaves is they just kind of do like a cold turkey. So they'll put the cabbage leaves in, they leave it in, you know, 24 hours a day, all day, and throughout the day they just don't pump, but they pump to comfort. So in the morning, usually that's when you're really big, they just pump for like 10 minutes, maybe even a little less, just to kind of get that engorgement gone. And they put the cabbage leaves in, you know, they strap a really tight bra on and they try not to do any stimulation. They may even take an antihistamine and they just go about their day, do whatever. And then when they start to feel like, ow, 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 you know, I'm starting to get really engorged. That's when they go back to the pump. They pump for 10 minutes or so just to get that initial hardness away. And then they stop all stimulation, put the cabbage leaves back, make sure to crack that vein, like I said, and they just keep doing that. And that really, you can like really get rid of your supply in a couple of days doing it that way. That being said, you can get mastitis that way. You can also get really clo really bad clogs, which can lead to mastitis. You know, you can kind of start feeling really yucky and because your hormones are like, you know, going all over the place at such a fast rate. Um, it can be kind of an um, upsetting emotional thing. Um, weaning in general is definitely emotional and upsetting and hard, but weaning faster can bring on more of those emotional issues. You can get into a more depressive state if you're weaning a lot quicker. So keep in mind when you're deciding to wean quickly. Another thing to kind of do is to just pump to comfort. So, you know, you decide one day, I'm just gonna stop pumping. So you get that tight bra on in the morning. Maybe you just pump 10 minutes to get rid of all of that tightness. And then the rest of the day, you know, you don't pump unless you absolutely have to because, you know, you're really engorged and you don't want to have clogs or mastitis and you're still wearing that tight bra. That's another big thing with weaning is that if you want to wean fast, you got to have like the tight fitting bra or, oh, it looks like my battery is like getting a little low. So I will tell you guys a little bit about what I'm doing to wean. So I am an impatient person and I wanted to just do like the drop a pump and like keep 
you know, drop a pump every week and like hopefully get down to like one pump per day and then, you know, I can just stop. Also, if you guys have any weaning questions, like please comment down below. As I said, I'm a little impatient. I wanted to do it fast, but then I also was like, I don't really want to do it fast because I don't want to have just crappy hormones, crappy emotional stuff going on. That being said, I'm still like, ugh. I just feel yucky, like my hair is weird, my skin is weird, I feel dry, and like my cycle is like all over the place and I still haven't really gotten my period and like it's trying to poke its way through but it's not and it's just like can you just figure it out but that's weaning and you know I haven't had a cycle in like almost three years so it makes sense I'm just impatient but so I did start doing the times I started cutting back um pump session times but I noticed that that made me really engorged. It was really, really hard for my body to deal with that for some reason. And, and it's true. Like, everybody's body's different. Everybody's body responds differently to pumps and how they wean and all that jazz. So I ended up just dropping pumps cold turkey, but uh, not as fast. So, and I had, and I was also really careful on which I dropped. So, in my last couple of videos, I was down to, I was saying that I was getting down to three pumps per day, but I wasn't at that. So now I'm at three pumps per day. And I pump at 6 a.m., and then I pump at 1 p.m., and then I pump at like 8, 8.30 p.m. Um, it's an awesome pump schedule. I love it. I almost wish that I was pumping this, like, you know, this schedule months ago. For me, you know, it was just hard seeing those ounces go down. So, uh, I am making, like, roughly 18 to 20 ounces a day. So, it is, like, still a lot, technically, like, for my body because my body still kind of thinks I'm like fully breastfeeding because a baby only needs about like 20 to 35 ounces a day really depending so my body kind of still thinks that I'm like at that level um if you get my if if I'm if you're following <laughs> um so this is another thing of waning is I can't think and I probably should have made notes on this but like I'm just kind of doing this at spur of the moment. Both of my kids are at school, so I wanted to get on camera and talk to you guys, and now, of course, my brain is not working, so it's really irritating, but so I cut out, you know, my middle pumps there, because I was pumping five times per day. So I cut out some middle pumps, and I was going to actually cut out another pump, so I'd only be pumping two times a week, or two times a day this week I was going to do that, but some stuff kind of came up and I just was like, ah, no, I'm not going to do that yet. But next week, I'm going to start. So another thing that I did was that because I noticed that the times that I was cutting was making me have more clogs, what I would do is when I dropped that pump, I'd instantly put cabbage leaves in. So wherever that, whatever that pump was, I'd be like, okay, cabbage leaves, you know, break the vein. I had the cabbage leaves in and I was just walking around all day with the cabbage leaves. I also um, went to bed with the cabbage leaves as well. I only did that for one day. So it was that first day that I decided to cut out that pump. I did it that day and then that evening and maybe even a little bit in the morning. That morning pump was atrocious because I was sitting there forever because, uh, you know, I was so engorged. And then I really tried to keep up with any clogs. If I had clogs, I would try and get them out. I would not leave them because then you could get mastitis where, yeah, I know I'm weaning, so technically I shouldn't have been pumping more, but I needed to get those clogs out because then once I got those clogs out, then my body was like, okay, yeah, now I can like regulate where the clog was like gonna cause me more issues. So that was kind of what I did. I did like a mixture of dropping a pump, adding the cabbage leaves, but then discontinuing the cabbage leaves, um, mainly because I just don't wanna pump, I don't wanna wean as quickly. Um, 
I'm thinking that once I get to two pumps or even one, I'm gonna be like, yeah, okay, I'm ready to wean like tomorrow. And there definitely are times now where I'm like, uh, I don't wanna be pumping, I just wanna freaking wean, like I'm done sitting here. Um, you know, I have things that I wanna do, so. Anyway, so that's kind of what I've been doing. I'm still at three pumps per day. Next week slash next video, you guys see, I should be weaning at two pumps per day. And I'll do like some more updates uh, for you guys as well. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I never remember which way it's going to come out. Uh, follow me there so that you guys can follow like my weaning uh, process. But if you have any questions, please comment below. And I, you know, I want to help because weaning is also like a big deal and a lot of us don't I don't feel like we talk about it that much it's just like yeah you know whatever weaning and it's uncomfortable and it's not fun and it's like an ending and things that end can be upsetting and as much as I am ready to wean it still is like ugh, you know like I just do I actually want to do this and it, it is something I want to do I definitely do but then I also wish that it was a switch and we could just go dink and then we would be done weaning done breastfeeding, but it doesn't really work that way. So um, one thing that I did want to update you guys on, and I did update my, I asked this on my Instagram, so if you guys also follow me, this will sort of be a repeat, but I have a massive amount of pump stuff, so much stuff that it has to be in like multiple areas. My husband is kind of like, you need to get rid of this stuff, and you either need to like give it away, um, donate it, like sell it, you know, whatever. So I thought that I would ask you guys if you wanted to go through it with me, um, if you would mind if I did giveaways with some of the parts. Obviously if they're like nasty or cracked, you know, I'm not going to give you guys like that stuff, but um, I don't need all this stuff and I want to like give it away to somebody who does and I also have a ton of pumps that like I don't need or really use and if you guys want them you know I can put them in a giveaway um some of the stuff I might donate or um sell on its own just because I did spend a lot of money on it um and just you know like to just grab a couple cash back into my pocket would be helpful um but most of the stuff you guys like I want to give to you because I know you guys are pumping breastfeeding so you know it's just you guys would value it and I feel like it would be super fun. I mean like who doesn't like a giveaway? So I want to do a Pump Junkie 3 video and in that video um, it actually might have two parts. I think it's going to be like a part one and a part two because I have so much stuff. Um, it's a little embarrassing but you know whatever. Uh, <laughs> this is like kind of you know my job now so it's just like I need this stuff for like YouTube. Um, but right now I don't need all of it. And because we're moving, I need to kind of like do a big D stash. We need to just get organized. So what better way to film it? Um, so that will probably be coming in the next couple of weeks. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe so that you know when that's coming. Um, because if you want to be entered in the giveaway, you have to be subscribed. Um, and, but there'll be more details, you know, when those videos come out. But if you guys are super interested in getting giveaway stuff, now some of this stuff will be used. Some of it won't be. Um, some of it will also be like an open boxed kind of deal or boxed, open box kind of deal. Um, you know, so if you are comfortable with that, like comment below so I know that this type of giveaway will be something you're interested in. And if you're not, you know, just don't enter the giveaway, but you can still watch um, the D-Stash because I love watching D-Stashes. Like, they're so much fun. I'm always like, ooh, like, what does this person have? You know, like, um, it's just it's just fun and kind of relaxing. But that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you, ugh, and if you have any questions about weaning or, you know, whatever, breastfeeding, pumping, please comment down below. Um, I am still, uh, doing the IBCLC stuff. I will do an update on that soon. Um, not too much has been going on, um, since school started. It's been kind of slow with my mentors because we're all, like, just crazy. Uh, but I did just recently buy the Gold Learning Tongue Tie, 
um, like L SERPs and it's awesome. I loved it. It was like such a great webinar um, conference, or I should say conference. It was more of like a conference, but they're webinars. Um, it was awesome. Worth every penny. You guys should definitely go look at it. It should still be available for you guys to buy if you're interested in um, lip tie, tongue tie, whatever, or if you need l -serps. I'll try and link it down below too for you guys. But um, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next.